the earlier that senators in Nigeria, some of the courage to say, we should not continue to deceive ourselves. This constitution can never give us progress. This constitution can never give us peace. All right, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you're just joining for the very first time, please do where to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay on top of the information anytime we drop information like this. Anyway, as it be like this, uh, Senator Adeye don't come out now. They shout, they pass. This constitution cannot give us what we want in this country. This constitution cannot take us anywhere. The man para talk a lot of things. We be like say it makes sense. Some be like say he exposed. Some be like say, in fact, too many people say, don't come they confuse as it they be like this. Anyway, as it be like Allah, you make you hear what he talk by himself. But he talk plenty, plenty things. I no go blame him. If a senator of you come out like this, talk say the way they tell they read this constitution, say in a fraudulent manner, in a fraudulent uh, way, and the way they tell they interpret the constitution, come be like say, if they favor some people, you know they favor some people. Well, make you hear the way we need to talk and first. Before I will come back on talk with him, I get to talk about this constitution. Are they come? Hear them. We should not continue to deceive ourselves. This constitution can never give us progress. This constitution can never give us peace. This constitution can never give us unity. And unfortunately, most of us in this National Assembly, we don't have the spine to face what we need to give this republic to have peace and progress. What do I mean? This constitution has 68 items, 68 on the exclusive list. This constitution has only 12 on the concurrent list. And those 12 are written so nebulously, so fraudulently, that you know that the intention is to even undermine those concurrent lists. That is why those who want unity and peace in Nigeria must first remember we don't run a federalist system in Nigeria. Otherwise, what is so unique about all those things that are in the exclusive list? We used to have a parliamentary system. And then we wanted unity, we wanted peace, we wanted progress, and we therefore said we are going to go with a presidential system. Honestly, there are many presidential systems in the world that have peace and progress. I can't call them with that. But we must put in place the same safeguards that presidential system across the world put in place so that you can have what it needs to run the society. In this chamber, we try to federalize the police system. In this chamber, we failed. We failed because we didn't summon the courage the wisdom, the tenacity of purpose, and the vision, and the understanding of what is making nations across the world to work. Well, just like we have heard here, I said it all. What do you think about what the senator is saying? What should be done? Do you think that the constitution needs to be re-amended? Because as it is, even the constitution, it seems as if it is for the common man. It favors some part of persons and it does not favor some other part of persons. Anyway, just let us know what you think about this constitution. We are coming. Thank you.